18! Red 18! White 50! White 50! Set! Hut 1! Hut 2! An easy exercise here. This is your first training camp, isn't it? Down, touch the ground! Grab it behind your hamstring and your calf! Ready? Come out of there a little bit harder, Bo. Well, uh, I'll just do everything I possibly can to uh, to help contribute and hopefully help them win. But there's nothing that I would uh, change immediately. Uh, what I want to do is get to know the players and uh, talk with the coaches and find out what we have been doing, and then maybe I might uh, make a suggestion. I turn the ball over, and once you do that, you lose concentration, and things just snowball on you and get bigger and bigger, and that's 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 what happened. The motivation question has come up. Pro throw maybe not motivating the team. Coriel, I guess doesn't have this kind of a problem. He's known as a very up kind of a person and can motivate a team. Is this not true? Well, that's what his reputation is, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, that's one of his strong points, and I'm sure that it'll become evident once we get playing. You think the club needs this? Well, I, I don't know what the club needs. Uh, it's not my position to say what the club needs. The transition from Tommy to Don has been real good, uh, and that's a tribute to uh, Coach Coriel because we, we've tried to uh, just let the assistants run the show basically this week because, you know, Coach Coriel really doesn't know our system yeah. yet. He's had some input, so uh, we're, we're going to try a few of his plays, and, <laughs> and they're good plays, I can tell you that right now. We're real excited about this game. I'm not going to ask you, as we, as we look at Don here in, in that first practice this week, I'm not going to ask you to speak for the entire team because you're not their spokesman, you're their quarterback, and I understand that. But they just talk about he's the motivator. He's going to give you and in, in, infuse the enthusiasm. Do you, Dan Fouts, need a rah-rah guy to say, hey, get out there and, and really get him. It's a big game. Do you personally need that just as one football player? Well, for some games you do need right. that. Uh, when you play a team where... Uh, you know you can beat them. Well, as in the case with the Green Bay game, right. we, we figured we could beat them. And I don't know if the whole team felt it, but uh, we were probably overconfident and we weren't quite ready. And in this league, that's a dangerous thing because any team can beat you, as we all know. And that's what happened Sunday. But he is, a, he is really some kind of guy. I've heard a lot about him, and, and now I finally get to play for the man, and, and I'm real excited about it. So the onus Sunday pretty much will be on you and Ray Perkins in terms of play selection, and he will be kind of an observer, if that's the word. Well, I, I'm not sure how much he'll get involved. I know he'll want to be very involved. Yeah. He's very involved in practice, and uh, it's, uh, it'll be interesting, especially since we're playing a team. We've got two things going for us this week. We've got coaches who have coached for New England, mm -hmm. and Larry Weaver and, and Ray Perkins. And Perkins right? They know the New England squad. They know their strengths and their weaknesses. So we're going to attack them with this knowledge in hand, and plus we have a new coach who's got some new fresh ideas. So it'll be a very interesting game. It's a big game for us because next week we play Denver at home, and mm -hmm. if we can beat New England, we'll be 2-3, and three, and then we'll get Denver and we'll be 3-3. Three and three. So we're uh, looking forward to it. Stopped. I think we haven't stopped. In the 50 yard line, we get an interference call. Uh, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. The damn thing comes late. It comes after everything else has happened. Uh, no, this is for publication, by the way. 